this former IDF discusses how he was able to get out of the uh, brain virus that they're all infected with in order to defend an apartheid state and defend uh, a, a now genocidal uh, effort. This is him on BBC. Every house in the West Bank actually has a number. Each and every house has a number. So we would open up the maps and look at the specific house that uh, looked into the right place that we had to enter, uh, a city center or a road. Um, and after we would verify that the house has the best parameters, windows, and geographical area, we made sure the people in the house were innocent. So you, we would enter a house of an innocent Palestinian home in the middle of the night. But I, I would say that what uh, um, motivated me eventually to break my silence was the piercing eyes of young Palestinians when I was barging into their house in the middle of the night. I could always justify it to myself, but those eyes, the anger, their fear uh, was what eventually helped me overcome that. A uh, house of a physician in Nablus, for example, that I entered in the middle of the night, uh, taking him, his wife, and his daughter, and, and pushing them in a room. If they wanted to use their bathroom or their kitchen or use their phone, they need permission from me. Um, that specific house in Nablus stayed with me for a while because that physician himself was kind enough and generous enough to sit down and explain to me what it means to be a Palestinian. And I thought that I was a good moral soldier, that I was actually helping entrench the occupation in that sense. So there you have it. That's a former IDF soldier. And he's talking about this is pre this is well pre October 7th. This is just standard operating procedure for the IDF. He's talking about going into uh, innocent Palestinian homes. And he makes it clear it's not that they barged into these homes thinking they were going to find Hamas fighters. And they go, oh, my God, it turns out it's just a regular family. And uh, we are sorry, and we'll go back to fighting Hamas fighters. No, he's saying it was the goal to go into innocent families' homes. They would pick them on a map. And uh, he doesn't say explicitly what the goal was, but I, I would imagine this has to do with the settlements. And it's basically terrorism. It is... It is searching the homes to make sure they don't have any weapons and things that they could fight the IDF with. But it's also designed to just terrorize the innocent population so that they're more likely to leave. When you're trying to ethnically cleanse an area, if you're not dropping bombs, then you're just doing things to try and make them leave. Well, one of those things is to terrorize them. It's to bust into homes with your guns drawn and make these people, average innocent people, uh, wonder whether an IDF soldier is going to come in in the middle of the night and shoot their kids. Uh, I know that if that were my situation, I certainly would not want to be there uh, at a place where I don't know if my kids are going to be killed. And it, it's 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 designed to to make them want to leave. It's designed to show them who's in control, and it's designed to uh, basically tell them, you know, we are so powerful that you you have no ability to fight back against us. So don't ever consider it. All of those things. And here is one former soldier who actually broke out of his brainwashing, which, you know, it's good to see, but it's far too rare. <laughs> 